Hi, I'm Lindy and we're back again and today's topic is ignore the packaging. And we are welcoming in a new year and that means Christmas was just a few days ago. And whether or not you got the perfect gift and everything that you wanted on your list and no matter what you gave and if you gave people wonderful gifts that they appreciated and enjoyed, my question to you is, where's the packaging? Where's the wrapping? Whether the gifts you received and gave were perfect and wonderful, or whether they missed the mark, all the packaging is in the same place, and that's the trash. And I know that we like the packaging. Um, as a child, you know, you always wanted the biggest one, and now we want the pretty ones. And I have a blast wrapping gifts. I enjoy it. I use bows and ribbons and it's fun to make them pretty. But the truth is the gift is what's on the inside of the package and not the wrapping. Although in real life, the wrapping is enticing. And I don't just mean with gifts. We are naturally drawn to certain types of people. And sometimes it's the physical. You know, we want the, the best looking somebody we find attractive. The good news is that people find different things attractive. Um, some people are truly just naturally drawn more to personalities than looks. And that's a good thing because a lot of us have more personality than looks. Um, but whatever it is, when I hear people talking about, I am so ready. I hope 2020 is my year. I'm tired of being alone. I want a relationship. Are they looking beyond the packaging? I know great people who would make wonderful relationship partners, but people can't get past the, well, you know, she, she's 20 pounds overweight. Okay, she's 20 pounds overweight, more to love. Or, yeah, but you know, he doesn't have as much hair as he had as a teenager. No, he doesn't. And you probably don't either. But is that really a reason to skip a potentially fabulous relationship? And sometimes it's not even that kind of physical, although too often it is. Um, sometimes it's, do you know what he does for a living? Do you know how much she makes? Well, is that really the important part? Can't you learn to live within those kind of parameters? Because there is a potential fabulous relationship out here. And I hear people say, well, I just don't meet anyone. Well, you know what? People are everywhere. Go to the library, someone's gonna be there. Go to the store, you'll find other people. If you're looking for somebody who shares your interests, then join a club or hit a meetup group. Go to some events where you can see these people face to face and you can meet them. And yes, you might look at them and go, oh, I don't find them attractive. So what? You're not looking to marry them. You're looking to get to know them. And if you get so caught up on the packaging, and I do get that it's a great start to a relationship. But I also know that as I've gotten to know people in my life, I have found them more attractive as I learned they have a great personality or they are just fun to be around. And I love their sense of humor. A sense of humor makes everybody more attractive. So stop getting hung up on the packaging because the truth is, it's going to end up in the trash someday too. And what you're looking for is a connection. You want to appreciate the gift that was given, their time, their attention, their love, their devotion. And that can come in any package at all. I'm Lindy.